We've already seen how Scientology attracts celebrities. But what principles and teachings do members practice? And what does the church say about some of its most confidential scriptures? The church says there's no aspect of life that cannot be improved through the application of Scientology principles, some of which are treatments conceived by L. Ron Hubbard. One such process popular with celebrities is called the purification rundown. What would that involve? It's a sauna and vitamin program, um, some exercise to get your heart rate going, and then you would take high dosages of niacin. Scientologists believe it can dislodge toxins and poisons from the body. Nearly six years later, many rescue workers are still paying a price for their heroic service at the World Trade Center. Tom Cruise is a strong advocate of this treatment, co-founding the New York Rescue Workers Detoxification Project, seen here in a Scientology video which uses L. Ron Hubbard's purification rundown principles for those exposed to toxic chemicals after the terrorist attacks of 9-11. Now, when I started this project, uh, it was because I was in a position where I knew that I could help. When I did it the first time, it was one week, and I felt brighter and more alert. My skin was, you know, vibrant and stuff like that. But far away from the limelight of celebrities, Amy Scobie says the program can also be used to discipline church members. She says she was once told to take part in a purification rundown that ended up lasting eight months. I was at 5,000 milligrams of niacin for months and months. I don't know what that did to my body. I have no idea. How did you feel? I felt really, uh, there was like gray stuff coming out of my skin and I didn't know if it was like my insides coming out or what after that long of being in the sauna, five hours a day, every day. Five hours? Yeah. And you kept going? Yeah. Well, what happened when you did it for eight months? That was when I um, decided I didn't want to be there anymore to satisfy somebody else's demands on, on me, to fix me because of their preconceived ways. The church denies Scobie's characterization and says the program is a religious service and to claim it as a kind of perverse punishment is gross in the extreme. Perhaps the most sensitive aspect of the church's theology concerns confidential scriptures meant only for higher level Scientologists. According to former church insiders, these documents describe L. Ron Hubbard's belief in an intergalactic emperor called Xenu, who brought the spirits of his people to Earth 75 million years ago, burying them in volcanoes. These spirits, the story goes, have stuck to the bodies of people living today in the form of body thetans. They have had some really bad experience, millions, billions, trillions, actually quadrillions of years ago, which is way o older than the Big Bang, basically. You're supposed to um, isolate and communicate with them telepathically so that they go away. Do you believe that a galactic emperor called Zeno who brought his people to Earth 75 million years ago and buried them in volcanoes? Okay. Do, do you believe that? Martin, I am not going to discuss the disgusting perversions of Scientology beliefs that can be found now commonly on the internet and be put in the position of talking about things for uh, uh, that, that talking about things that are so fundamentally offensive to Scientologists to discuss. That's well, all. I, I have the burden of my own journalistic responsibility mm -hmm. that I bring to this meeting, and I hope that um, I've uh, been appropriately respectful of you in my asking of the questions. Well, the you haven't the to the degree have. that the question that you asked me you know by virtue of the fact that it's been made very clear in other media entities that it's something that we consider offensive. And it is in violation of my religious beliefs to talk about them. So just for clarification, <clears throat> just for clarification, do you personally believe I'm going to stop you. If you're going to ask me that question again and you're going to repeat things about volcanoes and this kind of thing and so on and so forth, 
I will stand up and walk out, Martin, because, it, because what you're doing by doing that is you are intentionally asking me things which you know I find offensive, and you're insisting on asking me of them. So I'm asking you one more time. Mr. Davis, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just trying to ask you a series of questions about the public faith that you have. I'm not trying to mock you. I'm trying to understand what your beliefs are. Sure. You've explained what auditing is. You've explained the growth of the church. You've done all of those things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. I am asking you in the context of those questions, in the context of those questions, is it true that L. Ron Hubbard said that understanding the origins of the human race as mm -hmm. described through Xenu and the intergalactic emperor, is it true that somebody would die and When we come back, the future of celebrities in the church. Last night, we reported on allegations from former senior Scientologists that the leader of the church, David Miscavige, struck subordinates. Those accusers have since left the church, and they now say they hope celebrity members may also recognize what they call the church's darker side. Tom Cruise is a close friend of the ecclesiastical leader of the Church of Scientology, David Miscavige. I want to tell you something, that I, I have never met a more competent, a more intelligent, a more tolerant, a more compassionate being. Here he is receiving the organization's Freedom Medal of Valor at a prestigious ceremony. So I say to you, Sir COB, we are lucky to have you and thank you very much. In yesterday's broadcast, we focused on allegations made by former high-ranking Scientologists who claimed leader David Miscavige repeatedly struck subordinates. He just walked up and he hit me on the side of the head. It was a, he didn't have a closed fist, but it was an open hand. But it was, it definitely hurt and it definitely knocked me back. I saw him attack him while he was sitting in a chair and hitting him upside the head. And then, and, and then wrestling him around the neck and f throwing him to the ground. I saw at least a dozen times this happen. The church denies David Miscavige ever hit anyone. Sworn affidavits given to ABC News from over a dozen current Scientologists describe the allegations of abuse as vile falsehoods and say it was actually Marty Rathbun who was abusive. Rathbun concedes he was violent but says he was encouraged to be physical by Miscavige. He and the other accusers believe Tom Cruise is too supportive of the church's leader. Tom Cruise, I don't appreciate the fact that he's supporting David Miscavige because either he's supporting him and dumb to the fact that he is a total tyrant or he's in agreement with it and either way that is really not okay. And former church executive Marty Rathbun hopes that the other most famous Scientologist, John Travolta, will reconsider his relationship with the church in light of the allegations of violence. What do you think of his position at the moment? Do you think that he's likely to leave? I think if he were exposed to the truth, the truths that are being spoken about what really is going on behind the facade, I don't think he would continue to support that organization. I think he'd check out in a heartbeat. In a letter sent to Nightline yesterday, Tom Cruise's attorney called the actor a man of spirit, intelligence and independence. He said Mr. Cruise is aware of the claims made against Mr. Miscavige by former members of the Church of Scientology. He does not believe them. We'll be right back, but first, here's Jimmy K. Time now for tonight's closing argument. Over two days, we've examined allegations against the leader of the Scientology Church, the relationship between the church and its celebrity members, and a belief system many critics consider bizarre. The church vehemently denies any wrongdoing and defends itself as a religion. So tonight we ask you, should Scientology continue to enjoy tax-exempt status as an organized religion, or should the U.S. follow those nations which do not recognize Scientology as a religion? Tell us what you think by clicking on the Nightline page at abcnews.com or on the Nightline Twitter page. But that's our report for tonight. For Terry Moran, Cynthia McFadden, and all of us at ABC News, good night, America, and have a great weekend.